So right before this video starts, just understand that basic protocols still apply before we get into the extra protocols that were given by the country. Social distancing still applies, okay, in beaches, in the pools, in restaurants, uh, whenever the club opens, I guess they'll do it in the clubs as well. So just to understand that part, I know some of you guys are going to say, well, everything's back to normal. We're still going to be under guidelines to make sure you're safe, the country's safe, and when you travel, you have no issues being sick. They're going to ask you some health questions just to make sure you're okay. They're going to check on you. And if you feel, if you have any underlying issues that might seem like COVID, you may want to tell them. So right now, yes, before I start this protocol video, yes, there still will be social distancing in beaches and pools and restaurants. Um, and everything will kind of be the norm of the guidelines that we've all been dealing with for the past few months. So stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Blifo! <laughs> What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here, a.k.a. Mr. Red Cup. What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop. First off, let me give a big shout out to all you guys. 8,000 subscribers in less than two years. Shout to all you. Shout to all my members. If you want to become a member, hit that join button. Find out what the membership is about. Um, appreciate every single one of you guys supporting the channel. So right now, the moment you all been waiting for. Boom. So... The protocols are out, well, they've been out, excuse me. Uh, other news sources were saying they weren't out, but those, a lot of these news sources don't have that information because the protocols weren't made public until just yesterday. Uh, but I had them for about five days. I told you guys I was going to read it. I read it in Spanish. It took me a, a day and a half because you know, the print was really, really small, 19 pages. And then shout to Omari. And when I'm done reading it, he finds it in English when they pub uh, publicated it, and he finds it in English. So go figure. But I read it all, and I'm going to give you guys what to expect when you come to the to Dominican Republic. Also, hit that like button. Hit subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live, you know when I'm doing new videos. You're always, always made aware. Um, so first off, let's start from the jump. After five extensions of the state of emergency, us being on the fifth one right now, it ends on the 30th. But tomorrow, uh, Saturday the 27th, ends the 8 p.m. curfew. So there's no more curfew after tomorrow. They're continuing on with the plans as they, as they said earlier. Now also, July 1st, they've maintained the borders are opening. Today they made an announcement to the international community that their borders will be open for international travel and it will be accepting travelers. They made this announcement today to the international community. Okay, so here is what you can basically expect when you uh, come to land, land in the Dominican Republic. Now first, stay tuned. After, after I give you this information, I have a short uh, couple clips from when I was in Santo Domingo and also a promotional video of the Port, Port of Plata Airport and what they're going to show you, what you're going to go through. I would say that you really want to give yourself time when you come, you know, uh, to, to, to land after you land. And when you're leaving, give yourself extra time because you're going to have to go through all these protocols. Uh, so the way it's going to work now is July 1st, Punta Cana and Santo Domingo will be open. And in progression, July 3rd and 4th, Santiago and Port of Plata will be open. OK, so it's going to be. From the first to the fourth, so if you can't if you can't see a flight right now, July um, for Porta Plata is going to be because they're open in July fourth. Uh, but July first, the borders are open, so Punta Cana, Santo Domingo will get the first influx of tourists, and then after that, all airlines, all, all airports will be open uh, after the fourth. So now here's what you can expect: when you land, temperature checks. So have that gun, the the, the temperature gun to your head. Okay, um, they will be disinfecting your luggage. They will be having disinfectant for your hands at every, every lo everywhere you go. Um, when you check into your hotel, they'll be also checking your temperature. They'll be asking you questions, any health questions. Have you been around anybody who is sick? Now, myself, I went through this when I went to Jamaica years ago. You guys remember I had dengue. There was a bad dengue and malaria outbreak. So since I had it, I had to answer some questions. And all they did when, when I said, yes, I was in Dominican Republic, I had dengue fever. They brought me to an office, gave me a bunch of paperwork, said, if you feel sick, call this number. Now, I will say this. <laughs> I don't mean to be funny. But if you sneeze, you will be bum rushed like you're, like you're being attacked by Chuck Norris and the Delta Force. OK, so <laughs> if they have any signs of you being sick, they're going to run up on you and, hey, let's go check you out. OK, um, as of now, I told you guys before, there's nothing in the protocols that say you have to be tested prior to your arrival. I told you guys in one of my lives, 
if you feel comfortable getting tested, go get tested. And this way you have the paperwork showing you've already been tested. But there's nothing in these protocols that say you have to be uh, tested prior to your arrival. So basically, like I said, what you can expect is uh, just a lot of sanitation. Um, they're going to be hand, hand sanitized everywhere. They're going to be spraying your hands with alcohol. They're going to be cleaning your luggage. Uh, when you check in, if you have a guest, like every time you come back to your hotel, you have a guest, they're going to be checking your temperature and the guest temperature. Okay. As far as, as far as restaurants, I'm an outside restaurant, so I have a little bit of a, of a uh, and no shameless plug, I'm giving you this information. I have a little bit of an edge being outside. I was told, it's not directly in the protocols, but I was told that some restaurants have to turn their AC off. They don't want the AC blowing and maybe something, the virus spreading around. So for the most part, with my restaurant, we were already doing these sanitizing things. We already were sanitizing prior to this virus. So I've already had a leg up. So everything in the protocols, I was already doing when it comes to overcleaning, cleaning after each guest. Um, now we will spray your hands with alcohol, obviously. And I, have, I already had hand sanitizer everywhere um, for you guys that already been there. So you know. So basically, there's going to be a lot of sanitation, a lot of hand sanitizer, a lot of checking your temperature. From the airport to your hotel, anywhere you go, you're going to be getting checked out. So that's really the basic protocols of what you need to know, what you can expect. Um, and as I said, I would give myself more time when I land to your taxi or your ride. Hey, wait a little longer. And when you go back to the airport to fly out, I would give myself extra time. Because, yes, even though at the end of this video, their video seems really, really cool, like it goes really fast. We're sure that it's going to take a little bit more time. All right. So basically, no, 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 no COVID tests. For you to be here, a um, lot of sanitation, a lot, lot of hand sanitizer everywhere, and like I said, they're going to be checking temperatures pretty much everywhere you go. Okay, especially if it's indoors, you will be getting your temperature checked. So expect that when you arrive. Hopefully, you guys are booking flights, ready to travel. I miss you guys, definitely do. Stay tuned for the next part of this video. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for more videos.